A pleasant surprise from climate science. With climate change, salmon just might come out ahead. I'm Dan Riskin. Pacific salmon support commercial and recreational fisheries in the US and Canada that are collectively worth billions of dollars every year. But you know what else salmon support? Entire ecosystems. Previous studies have shown that when salmon make their way upstream, they bring nutrients that feed everything from bears and eagles to the iconic cedar trees that line those streams. Well, recent studies have shown that as glaciers melt, salmon move farther upstream, expanding their habitat for spawning. So researchers made a computer model to see what impact climate change might have on the abundance of salmon in the Pacific Northwest. Well, it turns out that by the year 2100, glacier retreat will create more than 6,000 kilometers of new streams, of which about a third could be used by wild Pacific salmon for spawning and juvenile rearing. This surprising finding has huge implications for those economically important fisheries, but there's a catch, and yes, that pun is intended. Climate change will have other impacts that could nip those gains in the bud, from ocean heat waves, to sea level rise, to extreme flood events, like the one we saw in the Fraser Valley this past fall. On the whole, researchers agree climate change is something to be minimized as much as possible. But this study does show that with climate change on the way, some species might actually get the upper hand. For ctvnews.ca, I'm Dan Riskin.